Hi everyone. A little while back I was asked to uh, show how I made um, a picture of a kitty that I had made for and put it in a pocket letter uh, for Linda Lapotka when we were doing our journaling by fives uh, with the buddy. And when we got to the end of our steps, you know, trading our journals back and forth, I sent her a pocket letter as a thank you. And um, so I was asked if I would show how I made the little kitty. Um, I'm going to insert a picture right here of that pocket letter so you can see what I'm talking about in case you did not see Linda Lapotka's video. So that's the little kitty, and um, I'm going to do that kitty, or one one like it, in my journal, and um, that way I can show you guys how I did it, and um, maybe you can try it yourself. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use a jelly print on the background, which is what I did on the, the other cat. And the jelly print looks like this. This one was made prior to the last video where I showed a bunch of my jelly prints. This one was made before that, but I really like this one. And um, it's a little bit dark and I may tone it down just a little bit with some gesso before I put the kitty on there, so. But first to get it on the page, so I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge. So that tones it down just a little bit. I uh, I put a couple of drops of the liquid gesso on the page and I spritzed it with just a tiny bit of water and then I uh, brushed it on. Then I took a little bit of it off and kind of spread it around again with the uh, with the baby wipe. So you can see this was an original one. So it's toned down a little bit. See how this one is darker. So I like it being just, you know, a bit lighter. Although, I mean, I love this dark, uh, the, the original jelly print. I love that a lot, but I wanted the background just to be muted down just a bit for this. Now the next, um, the next portion is uh, I'm gonna just stamp some some uh, texture in the background here. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. I think. Okay, and then. Um, I think I will use, I think I'm gonna use the green ink. I've got some uh, leaf green archival ink. I'm gonna use the, I had told you guys previously about this little piece of uh, vinyl 
plastic. And I had said it was like a carpet runner. And there are some carpet runners that are made of this, but this is actually shelf liner. So this is very easy to find. In almost any place you can find shelf liners, you'll see a roll of this. So you can get a roll and share it with friends or something, but um, it's it's nice for making um, for making lines. Like that. And it works with paint and ink and uh, just really nice to um, to get a little background texture. And you can't see these these two, the blue and the green, very well, but that's the way I want that to be kind of muted. And now I'm going to do a little bit in black, and you will see that. This one is this little swirl. I'm going to use the black for that. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, put on my border so that it's already in place once I put the kitty cat down. To make the cat, I just have um, three pieces that I've drawn out and and cut uh, and cut out. I just drew this freehand. There's, I mean, this is very. These are very simple shapes, so anybody can do this. And I'm going to go ahead and um, attach the head and the body. I just left a a tiny little bit of an edge right here. Where, uh, where I'll put the glue and then attach his head. Cat has a lot more personality with the head tipped to the side. <clears throat> Oops. So that's what I've done there. I've just uh, tipped the head just a little to the side. All right, so I went ahead and uh, glued the tail on the kitty and penciled in some of the marks so that the face and some of the other markings and I'm just I've got some paint out here and I'm just going to paint him before I do that I'm going to coat him in Mod Podge it's it's um makes it a little easier to work on the the surface because the paint doesn't soak into the paper 
when it has the Mod Podge. So I'm going to, going to uh, put a layer of Mod Podge, a really thin layer, and um, that also helps if there's uh, any errors. It's easier to wipe it away, and it's easy to move the paint around like with a wet wipe. So uh, here we go.
All right, I um, accidentally forgot to turn the video camera on when I did the last two two steps. I just did. I did some. <clears throat> I did some stamping of some text uh, on the page here and here, a little there. Just some uh, a little bit more texture and a little bit to go on top of the kitty to tie it onto the page to make it look like it's part of the page rather than just being stuck on top of a background. And then I just now, <clears throat> I just now added the word meow. And I'm gonna take a, um, take a marker here and my, one of my pit pens and just put a little bit of coloring around the edge. Maybe I'll add a little green too. So some green in the page here. Yeah, I like that. And now I'm just gonna outline the word. A little bit of doodling. So, okay. I think I'm going to call this one finished. I really enjoyed creating this little cat and, and having, it, uh, having it again. I mean, having an original. Uh, in my art journal because uh, the first one that I made that I used a copy of in Linda Lapotka's pocket letter uh, originally I had made that for a friend of mine to go on the front of her birthday card and uh, I scanned it you know and kept it and fortunately I had and was able to uh, share that with Linda but I'm really happy to um, to have created another one and have it now in my journal it was fun to create it again. So um, thanks to uh, Candida Vieira, Vieria, maybe, <laughs> uh, for requesting that I do this cat again. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure that you check out the hashtag PaugustArt. And uh, look at all the other art that's out there on YouTube that has been created, especially for this event. And uh, you may find some new channels to watch and uh, su subscribe to. And uh, let's just uh, participate, uh, whether we're uploading videos or watching. And uh, let's make this event successful uh, like the first one and beyond. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.